<laughs> it's a video. Um, excuse my 14 shirts. I'm freezing down here in my basement. I don't know if the heat's not working or what. But um, we are going to do some front of hip and some um, stretches and yobility movements for the rotators of the hip as well as the front of the hip and the quad. So I'm standing in half kneeling position because this is probably the best place that you can begin. So you can put your hands right on top of your knee or your leg and you can just start rocking forward. You should feel that stretch through the front of the leg. Go ahead and make sure you're sitting up tall, chest up, tuck that tailbone slightly. Make sure your hips, one is not sneaking forward in front of the other. And we're just gonna rock. I've done about five rocks. We're gonna do about five more. Then we're gonna switch legs. Okay. Just something to get started with, moving through a range of motion here that's comfortable for you. Go ahead and put that one knee down, put the other knee up. May feel slightly different side to side. Okay, if it helps to put your hands on top of your knees to help you stand up straight, that's totally fine. Okay, so for example, the front of my right leg is tighter than the front of my left leg. Right now, this doesn't even feel like much of a stretch to me, but that's okay, because we're just warming, getting our body warm, okay? Next thing that we're gonna do is, we're gonna sit down and kind of a, uh, if you can, you're gonna be sitting, one leg's gonna come out in front, one leg is gonna be back behind you, all right? And I just want you to crawl over your legs into a rocking position. I'm gonna come at this from the side, but you're gonna rock like this. So your legs are split, right? Like you're gonna sit on one hip mostly. This leg's out in front. This leg's tucked back behind you. Crawl forward, crawl back. Crawl forward, rock, crawl back. If you can do this, so crawl forward, crawl back. And again, this is a case where one hip may feel different than the other. We're gonna do one more crawl forward, crawl back. Okay. Here, when I come onto this leg, let me see if I can back up a little bit. So you see how I've got the one leg tucked back? Maybe I can move back a little bit more. And I've got one leg out in front of me. If this is too much for you, that's okay. Okay. One way you can do it too is to just do it kind of sitting crisscross applesauce. Crawl forward, crawl back, crawl forward, rock crawl back, okay? So if it is too much for you to have one leg forward and one leg tucked behind you so that you're sitting on that left hip for me now, that's okay. Just go ahead and do the crisscross applesauce. You're gonna come up, crawl forward, crawl back. Now, funny enough, front of my right hip is tight, but I can feel that the back of my left hip is also tight, tighter than the other side, okay? You can get a little bit of ankle mobility in here by making sure that that back foot is flat, tucked out, getting a little bit of practice with external rotation for your ankle as well. So we've done a little bit of rocking. We did a little bit of rocking in our hips. We're gonna come on down onto the floor. Oh my gosh, this is the best one I invented yesterday. I promise you this is a brand new move. Nobody has ever seen it. So you may have seen Stretching out your hip by grabbing your leg behind you, okay, or behind this leg. So it's kind of a figure four kind of position or a pigeon on your back, half pigeon on your back, if you're familiar with yoga terms. So you can use a strap if you don't feel like you've got, you're able to grab behind your leg. You could use a towel or a belt, okay? So here's a towel. If I just wrap it around the back of my leg, I can get a little bit more clearance here. So I've got this, this is one stretch. Now I don't really want to stretch so much in this position, although it's okay if I'm just rocking back and forth, but I'm gonna turn this into a core exercise as well. <laughs> so bear with me. You are going to, but you might be feeling this nice stretch right here. And you can just rock it gently back and forth, up and down, side to side, however you want to. So that's kind of nice right here in the hip usually. 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands out to my side. I'm going to hold this figure four right here. If you can. And like I said, if it's too much, you can put that foot down on the ground. Okay. I'm going to turn this into a windshield wiper that helps strengthen my core while also stretching my hips. So I'll put my foot down and I'll demonstrate it this way and then I'll show you a way to make it slightly more challenging. So my ankle is still on top of my knee. I'm going to drop my knee, my whole leg to the side, and my knee, my foot is gonna fall towards the floor. My foot that was up in the air is now falling towards the floor, okay? I'm gonna use my core, bring it back up, and then set it back down. Drop it down, you should feel a stretch again through those external rotators, okay? Activate my core, use it to bring it back up, and down. Okay? It's just a real gentle core exercise, not like hardcore. <laughs> just improving our yobility. I'm going to do five of those. Now I'm going to do it, the last two, a little bit more challenging. So that would be keeping my foot straight up in the air, dropping this down to the side. Okay? Maybe letting my toe, big toe touch the ground. Using my core to bring it back up. Roll to the side. Touch with my toe. Use my core to bring it back up. Exhaling as I come back up. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So switch legs. My other ankle is going to come to the top of my knee. I'm going to stretch here either by grabbing behind my leg or using my towel to grab behind my leg so I get a little bit more space here, especially if my hips are tight or I just like don't have enough room or anything that you need. So I'm rocking back and forth, side to side, up and down, in and out, however you want. You just get a little bit of stretch in that hip. As long as you feel that stretch, that's great. Okay? Now, the second part of that stretch is to put my foot down and drop this foot down to the side. Now, there should be another stretch right here, possibly. Okay? Now when we bring it back up to the middle though, we're using our core to bring it back up, right? I'm using my core twisting. Instead of doing a Russian twist where I'm twisting my hands, I'm going to, or my upper body, I'm going to twist my lower body. And I'm stretching at the same time, which I think is such a bonus. All right. Exhale as I come back up, dropping this down to the side, stretch, stretch, stretch. Maybe even a nice lower back stretch. Use my core, activate it right away. Last two I'm going to do with my foot up in the air. This is the more challenging version. Come down, touch my toe there. <sighs> Exhale to come back up. Come down, touch my toe. <sighs> Exhale to come back up. Best idea ever, right? All right, so we're getting some movement in our hips. And we are going to move on to our next hip opener. So we're going to come into all fours and push back into downward dog. So go ahead and do that. <laughs> My hood is attacking me. You may feel some nice stretch through the back. You can even wiggle your hips side to side so you can get a little stretch in there. Okay, right leg's gonna go up, step it through. Woo. Come to a standing lunge, okay? So you're in a standing lunge position right here. If you need to hold on to a wall or a chair, that's totally fine. Most important here is, is that you tuck your booty, okay? So that you actually get a stretch through the front of your leg. If you don't tuck your booty, then you can cheat off of kind of locking out that front leg or not getting as much stretch here. So you can raise those arms up. Inhale, exhale. Come get comfortable in that lunge, that forward lunge. Another inhale, exhale. Woo. So you can stay right here. If you need a slight more challenge, you can drop that knee down, bring it back up. Drop it down, bring it back up. Drop it down, bring it back up. Okay? Now, so, 
Two ways to do that, staying in this front lunge is completely fine. If you want a little bit more challenge, drop that knee down. Either way, we're gonna drop the knee down right now. Come back into that half kneeling position. Okay, inhale. Bring your hands to heart center. Then we're gonna twist to the side. Now you can twist with just your elbow or your forearm over the knee. You can twist with elbow over the knee. You can do it however you want. Should have done it to the other side. You're looking back behind you. Okay, so you may be here or here. You should feel a stretch through the, the kneeling knee, the standing knee. All right. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale them down. Step your foot behind you. Come on to all fours and push up into downward dog. We're gonna inhale the left leg up. Exhale, sweep it through. Come into standing. Right, put your arms up when you're ready. If you want your hands at your side, that's totally fine. Again, tuck that booty here. So you feel that stretch through the front of the rear leg. So you can inhale. I'm not feeling very stable today. And you can stay right here, or we're gonna do three drop down. Drop your leg down, knee down. Push back up. Drop down. Push back up. Now we're gonna drop our knee down no matter what. Untuck our toe back here, okay? Inhale the hands, exhale, bring them to heart center. Go ahead and we're gonna twist this direction. So you may twist elbow over the knee, you may twist forearm over the knee, and hand can be here or behind you. All right, just however you feel comfortable twisting is fine. Inhale, try to lengthen the spine, exhale, Twist a little bit deeper if possible, looking over your rear shoulder. Hold it right here for a second. Lunge into that. If you are holding your forearm, you may feel a little bit of stretch through the outside of your quad. And that's what I want you to feel. All right, let's go ahead and inhale back up. Exhale, hands down. Come back on all fours, push back into downward dog. Walk your dog. And that's about it. And that is your hip mobility.